When one lawsuit involves several claims, district courts may enter final judgments on some claims and decide the others later. However, judges have no test or criteria to guide these decisions. In Curtis Wright Corporation v. General Electric Company, the Supreme Court considered whether a counterclaim's potential impact on a monetary award should be the deciding factor. Curtis Wright Corporation entered into a series of contracts worth $215 million to manufacture nuclear-powered vessel parts for General Electric Company, or GE. Wright subsequently sued GE for breach of contract, fraud, and misrepresentation. In addition to damages and contract reformation, Wright sought to recover $19 million for completed work. GE filed a counterclaim to recover $2 million, incurred through its extraordinary efforts to prevent Wright from defaulting on the contracts. Arguing that Wright unfairly benefited from those efforts, GE also claimed unjust enrichment, seeking $52 million in restitution. The parties disputed facts regarding every claim except GE's $19 million debt. However, the parties' contracts included a clause requiring a release from all legal claims as a condition of payment. When Wright moved for summary judgment on GE's balance, GE argued that under the contract, it wasn't obligated to pay until Wright's other claims were resolved. Despite the release clause, the district court granted summary judgment for Wright. Wright filed a motion to certify the judgment as final under Federal Rule of Civil Procedure, or FRCP, 54B. If a lawsuit involves multiple claims, district courts have discretion to enter final judgments on some claims while reserving disposition on others if there's no just cause for delay. The district court found no just cause for delay. Wright's claim was separate from the remaining claims. Although both parties were solvent, rising interest rates meant Wright lost money every day GE didn't pay. A final judgment on this claim wouldn't cause unnecessary reviews of the other claims by appellate courts. Thus, the district court directed entry of final judgment for Wright. The Third Circuit reversed, holding the certification was an abuse of discretion because GE's pending counterclaim might lower Wright's payment. This required maintaining the status quo, absent unusually harsh circumstances, which hadn't been demonstrated. The Supreme Court granted cert.